Keep It Clean Tampa initiative. And check this thing out. This is the litter skimmer. It's Tampa's newest tool to help keep our waterways clean. City leaders celebrated its maiden voyage this morning, and ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton was there. He explains how this works. Hundreds of volunteers all over Tampa got up early Saturday morning to clean up. It's the start of the city's Keep It Clean Tampa initiative. All right, so it's very exciting day here in Tampa. And over here on Davis Island, Mayor Jane Castor, city council members, as well as city staff and volunteers all cheered as the city's litter skimmer launched for the first time. This is a great investment that will help everybody and help keep Tampa clean. It's basically a garbage truck, but on the water. And check it out. This is video from the city showing exactly how it works. Basically, it's going to happen. We'll be out on the water. We will drop the front boom conveyor one down. We have two wings that open up. Walt Townsend is the boat operator. We just go along scooping up. We're about 24 inches down underneath the water surface, so we'll be able to pick those floaty bags up there you can't really see. Last year, the city's downtown partnership collected 281 tons of trash on land. And in the water, workers and volunteers removed more than 3,200 tons of debris. This is a, a personal passion of mine, uh, ensuring that our community is clean each and every day. The litter skimmer will run about eight hours a day, four days a week. It can hold up to three and a half tons of trash. Townsend says when the boat is full, the trash is then loaded onto a trailer and then taken to a landfill to be burned. And now that we have this, officials say the next step, figuring out how all this trash is getting in the water and stopping it altogether. The Department of Environmental Protection awarded the city a check for $500,000 for research. In Tampa, J.J. Burton, NBC Action News.